Guys, they said Kabiesi was happy on hearing that uh, Olorutobi went on her news and they thanked Queen Naomi so much for her full support. You know that they believe strongly that uh, Queen Naomi is influencing Kabiesi's decision. But normally, oh, that is what it should be because Queen Naomi is Kabiesi's first wife. Kwenami is Kabiesi's mother of the first son. Uh, Kwenami is Kabiesi's best friend and lover. Let me put it that way. Kwenami is Kabiesi's lover. Forget wife issue. Kwenami and Kabiesi, they are in love. And when a man is in love with a woman, he will always take advice from that woman, especially when that woman is a good woman who gives good advice because it's not everybody, it's not all the women that can give good advice, even though you might love that person. But sometimes you find out that a good man will be making mistake be simply because he fall in love with a woman who does not have good advice to offer. But Queen Naomi's case reverses the case. Queen Naomi is a good woman. KBS is in love with her. And, Kabi and Kwenomi is giving Kabiesi good counseling. And I also believe that whoever that is counseling Kwenomi these days is a good counselor. We heard that someone like uh, Reverend Esther J, uh, Fuke Adejimo, these are the people that advises her this time. And you know that those people are people that are experienced in marriage and in age. Yes, they are doing well for themselves. So I believe that anyone that takes advice from them will not go, they will not lead that person astray. Mm -hmm. Right now, a lot of people believe strongly that uh, Reverend Esther J is doing a great job in advising Queen Naomi. So, information have it that after Kabiesi welcomed Queen Naomi into the palace, Toby keep disturbing, of which it is expected because to her, she has stayed outside the palace for a very long time. People have started mocking her, saying a whole lot of things. Why KBC doesn't want to welcome her back and everything. Even her friends, from what we heard, they said even her friends have started mocking her, you know, saying that uh, the children are not KBC's own. That is why KBC have decided not to welcome them back to the palace. So with all of that, Toby was restless. Yes. And at some point, she started pushing it to Queen Naomi, that Queen Naomi is the reason, this and that, not knowing that Kabiesi loves Queen Naomi more than her and the babies. And again, Kabiesi would want to make Queen Naomi happy. Kabiesi was kind of afraid of losing Queen Naomi again. And maybe Kabiesi was thinking that if he welcomes Toby and the twins back to the palace without welcoming Queen Naomi back to the palace, that Queen Naomi might decide to leave to leave him, you know, thereby finding her way out of his life. And even the family of Kenami might not be might not be happy with that decision, considering the fact that the time frame that Kabiesi gave them that Kenami will return, that she did not return. So with all of this, they put Kabiesi in a state that he is kind of confu confused, or maybe he was trying to fix Kenami first, because he knows that Kenami is not a bad person, that if Kenami is comfortable and happy, that Kwenami is going to support his decisions. So why Toby was disturbing Kabiesi? Even when Kwenami enters the palace, Toby was one of those people who said that Kwenami does, does, does not deserve the royal man or that it is she who have the twins for Kabiesi that's supposed to be there and all of that. But she doesn't know that God was making preparations for her as well. So they said uh, on one of their discussions, as a discussion between Kabiesi and Queen Naomi, Kabiesi told Kwenami how Toby have been disturbing him over this welcome, welcome. They said Kwenami told Kabiesi that if you are sure that those children belong to you, that you're supposed to welcome them back to the palace because it is not good to allow your children to be out there. That is what they said Kwenami told, told Kabiesi that if you are sure that these children are yours, why are they still outside? And they said Kabiesi told her that you are a precious jewel that you have a very good heart, that that is why he wanted you to always be by his side because he knows that you can, he cannot make wrong decisions while you are around him. You know, they just talked about it like that. And information also have it that 
Kabiesi, it's like Kabiesi also told Toby that if not for Queen Naomi, that he might not, she might not have been welcomed back and all of that. They said Toby have to go to Akure. That was the, during that period that uh, Queen Naomi and the, this princess, Princess Tun, uh, Tolu of Oyotunji village, I don't know if you remember, that was the period that Tolu went to Akure to spend time with Queen Naomi. So they said Toby went there. On getting there, they said she knelt down, begged Queen Naomi for forgiveness for everything that she had done to her and also thank her that Kabiesi told her that they have fixed a date for her return and she is very, very happy. But Kabiesi said it is uh, her decision, as in Queen Naomi's decision. And that is why I said that these people, they, they, they are not smart. I keep saying it. You see all these other Oloris, they are not smart one bit. The smartest among all of them happens to be Dr. Elizabeth. Coming into this marriage, Dr. Elizabeth noticed that KBAC loves Queen Naomi because I don't see the reason why a man who has six wives will be trying everything within his power to be with the first person before all of these women. At least these women would have, these six would have uh, filled the vacuum that Queen Naomi left. But because they cannot fill that vacuum, Kabiesi knows that he really needs his wife around him. If not for his wife, all these other women, mm -mm, they don't give him that quality that he saw in Queen Naomi. He started going back to Queen Naomi. And when Dr. Elizabeth entered and noticed this, all she did, she did was to support the king. And by supporting the king, the king will always bring her closer. You know, that is why it looks as if Queen, uh, Dr. Elizabeth is taking position you know, being uh, acting as the best and the first in the absence of Queen Naomi. That is because she understands the role of the game and she played along. Even though she might not like it 100% because no woman would want to share her husband with another woman. But knowing that she is already in this, in this polygamy stuff and she's not the first, neither is she the second. So the only thing is to do is to relax your mind. You know, those things that will make you happy here. Don't fight anyone. Don't uh, plan evil against anyone. Just be plain. Be yourself. Thank God you have your own money to throw around too. Even if KBC did not give the Dr. Elizabeth, Dr. Elizabeth is okay. What more does she want? She now have a first class king as, on, uh, as, a, as a first class or as a husband. She have her own money. And it, to live in peace and enjoy that marriage, she needs to be in peace with that her husband. She supported her husband and now she's living in, in a very peaceful manner with the king and with Naomi. This is what Toby should have been doing. Instead, she thought that joining uh, Mariam and the rest to fight with Naomi, she would gain Kabiesi's attention all to herself. Upe, as in what? As first wife or maybe as Kabiesi married a virgin. No only. So my people, know, when I hear that uh, she went and begged Queen Naomi and all of that, I said, now, and the second person was happy hearing that she went there to go and let Queen Naomi know that she knew uh, the part she played and thank her very much. I just pray she would just retrace her steps and stop following all of these old cargoes and her stay in the palace will be joyful. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? Let's bear that in mind. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and share my video. Bye. I love you guys. See you.